This is Salamancer, and uh, I just... I don't even know where to begin with this guy. But that was our red demo man, who is, by the way, I'm a wolf, woof woof. And you are watching the Sevo Vanilla Challenge between our red team, the Oregon SWAT unit, and blue, the Magical Frolicking Unicorns under the command of 007, admin of the Sevo League. So, you know, we're probably going to see some shenanigans out of him, you know, some... Uh, some clever interpretations of the rules, but no, I'm just kidding, he's a pretty stand-up guy. And he did send me this demo, I thought it was pretty awesome of him to do that. So, uh, do get ready to watch some awesome TF2 action, just had to reload my uh, out there for a second, because somebody from OSE was on the wrong team, but uh, that fixed it. And the Ubers are down now, <laughs> what just happened there? Uh, Mr. Bumpo just completely destroyed a soldier as soon as the Uber faded off of him. Miss Vale here trying to destroy a scout now who's uh, invading the point, and <laughs> tries to pull out the equalizer, kind of forgets. No equalizer allowed. This is the Sevo Vanilla Challenge, which does mean that everybody has to play vanilla, except for the medics. So they're, they're very much treating this like European-style play, which means that they are only going to be playing 30 minutes, with probably a win difference of 5. I'm not entirely sure whether it is or not. And they're going to be playing vanilla, only medlocks. And so the, the medic can choose to use, like, the Blutzauger or the... Uh, crossbow, but pretty much everybody else is going to be stuck with the basic class items plus hats, and uh, you know, I, I think if they didn't allow hats, nobody would play, because honestly, that would just be ridiculous. But there you go, the Magical Frolicking Unicorns do finally capture the middle point. That uh, took quite a while there, actually, on CP Follower. Usually if you've got your opponents bo boxed out, you get on that point pretty quickly and you stack it up, but uh, nobody was actually boxed out for quite a while, and Mr. Bumpo just sending some stickies down that side hallway doing some normal spam stuff here on CP Follower. Not a map you usually see in ESEA, and I'm not even sure if ETF2L runs it anymore. Um, I have played it a couple times. I think for Highlander, actually. This is a, it's kind of a UGC-favored map for Highlander, but it's it's a little bit of a weird one. And people have compared it to a combination between Badlands and Granary, and I, I could kind of agree with that. You know, the middle point looks a little bit like the Badlands middle with that big bridge, and you can kind of go underneath it, although it's, it's definitely got some topological differences. Meanwhile, the Uber is in here right now, and it looks like they have Uber to Soldier in, trying to take out a couple players here. Terrahbite? Terrahbite? Ter 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 is down, and uh, actually three players, including the Medic. That's, that's Terry, of course, the Medic for uh, the Oregon SWAT unit down, both their soldiers down, so hopefully their scouts and demo are pretty darn good, because if not, they are going to lose the second point. They have managed to take down Miss Vale, the pocket soldier who was not pocketing at that moment. And, uh, wow, the King of Nipples coming in here and getting some good hits off on the demo, but walks over Sticky is not a great idea. Probably just got a little bit too, uh, a little bit too greedy there for the kills. Sometimes it is okay to just back away from those doors when there are Stickies underneath them, and, uh, you know, just FYI, do that, do that. But yeah, Sevo Vanilla Challenge is going in full force right now, and I gotta say that it is a cool idea to have some American exposure to the vanilla scene. Oh, 007! You need a couple pills in there. Gotta be careful about walking in through those doors. It's a very scary thing to do. Mr. Bumpo, meanwhile, just kind of hanging out. And they're trying to decide where they should push in from. They, tr they, yeah, they tried to take the upper route earlier. Now they're just walking straight in down the left side. And there goes the Uber. They're gonna try and keep as many players alive here as possible. They have lost Captain Mop. But get a scout kill in exchange, so it has been scout for scout so far. There goes the Uber from the red team. Very nicely done, actually. They're taking down Pocket and Medic. And should be able to push pretty far out here. There are only two players left alive. They've got to be careful about sticky traps here from Mr. Bumpo. And he does deal just a bit of damage to that demo man. But I'm a wolf. Woof, woof, woof. Going to try and chase him down. Or at least force him back through that doorway where he cannot walk back out for fear of sticky traps and spam and all that wonderful stuff. So OSU, um, which... Keeps making me want to say like Oklahoma State University, but no, it is the Oregon SWAT unit. Gonna start jumping in here towards the main point, and can they recapture the middle point? Actually, not recapture. I think they, don't, they have not technically captured it for the first time this game yet. So this will be their first capture if they can get it. But there's a back cap going on right now, and it is gonna be Miss G, barely taking off the point, trying to get some damage done. Oh, that is as close as you can get to capturing a point without actually capturing it. That is too bad. So, uh, Apoth, the roaming soldier, and keep in mind, a roaming soldier can't use gunboats, this is vanilla, so roaming soldier has a little bit of a harder role to play, and as a result, Apoth dies, did not get the capture, and there is an Uber on the main point, I'm sorry, the middle point, why do I keep calling it main, I don't know. Uh, Terrybite is getting pressured a little bit by Bumpo, but Bumpo, 11 health left, 007 even, 
Oh, <laughs> gets a nice needle kill there. But 007 feeling a little bit uh, of the pressure coming on. And Terry Bite gets an uh, Uber Saw kill, so both medics doing a pretty darn good job right now. And it looks as if the magical frolicking unicorns are going to have to back away from the middle points. They've lost two players, two fairly heavy damage players, the Pocket and the Demo Man. So they're going to have to have Apoth. Oh, this is scary. Apoth is probably going to have to run away here or just die. I mean, death is always an option. It is not usually the best option. And Apoth does manage to dodge his spam somehow. I think uh, they, they probably could have taken him out if they tried a little bit harder here, but he may still end up getting killed. Doesn't even seem like he realizes he has a shotgun. Probably could have taken down one of those scouts with it. But, uh, hey, roaming soldier, what are you going to do? <laughs> Apoth, though, taking his health kit once again, and he's probably just going to try and jump straight back in. He really wants to go for the medic, but oh, he's taking way too many hits. Well done by the OSU, the Oregon SWAT unit, to stop that bomb. They they, they were pretty much were expecting it at that point. They knew they had an uber advantage, and they, they were just kind of like, okay, well, they're going to try and pop it on us, so uh, we'll just be prepared. And using that Boy Scout motto seems to work pretty darn well for them. They are going to push in now, and oh, a Kritzkrieg! Didn't even spot that coming in, but it doesn't matter. It looks like our red team did, and the medic did not walk over that crit sticky like uh, like the below seven wanted. So uh, it was a good surprise move. It was just that they did not manage to quite execute properly. But I do like the style of play. And there you go, Bumpo, Apoth, both getting a bunch of kills here. So that is going to be almost a complete wipeout for the Oregon SWAT unit. They will be able to go back and capture the middle point. Cheesy McNuggets, the only player left alive for OSU right now. He's going to try and get in and stop the cap. He does get the kill, actually. Just a little bit too late to stop that capture. And now does not want to go up against a pocket soldier and a medic and a demo man. So going to have to back away. The wise choice there. Going to walk back until the rest of his team sets up a hold position. And actually a lot of damage going down there. But OSU should be able to hold on to their second for a little while. Although the crit screen, I think it's a crit screen, is going to be ready again. Yes, it is. And here they go. Mr. Bumpo laying down the crit stickies all over the place. This time he takes down the medic. He's going to go for a couple other players as well. But it is too late. 007 is down. Couldn't get any more crit stickies off. Nonetheless, he is still doing a bunch of damage for having only three health left. And it's, uh, you know, if, if, you're, if you're a realist, I guess don't play this game. Because, yeah, if you eat a couple of pipes and you only have three real life HP. Uh, you probably aren't going to be able to walk around and, and uh, jump and hop and execute your sticky bombing properly. But this is a game where as long as you've got even one little measly HP, you are pretty much ready to go. And I just need to get your morning coffee and you can do whatever you need to do. Apoth gets a good kill in there, although he in turn gets taken out by the, uh, the wonder combo here of the Calm and King of Nipples, which I don't think I will ever get tired of saying, by the way. I like that name. I do like it. Yeah, OSU uh, pushing on towards the middle point once again, and this is the second week, or second stage of the Sevo Vanilla Challenge. I don't know if it's being played in tournament style or if it's just kind of a league, but the CP Follower is their second map. They will be playing Badlands. I think they've already played Badlands, something like that, and then the, the upcoming match, is it Gravel Pit? I think it's Gravel Pit. I could be wrong. But you can go check it out yourself on the Sevo website. C-E-V-O, because I know you're interested, and uh, frankly, this is this is not like invite level play, so you can look at this and be like, oh, well, you know, my team could probably beat these guys, which you might not be correct, because both these teams are pretty darn good, but I would love for you to try, and uh, the more people who are getting into like 6v6 style stuff, the better. This is an absolutely fun game mode, and if you don't believe me, do try it out sometime yourself. Just don't try TF2 Lobby. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Do the, do the 66 newbie mix. That's a better idea. Terabyte coming in here and trying to stop the cap. Does take down Miss G, but it's only him and uh, Cheesy McNuggets left. Miss Fail, meanwhile, is trying to chase him down. And, oof, Cheesy McNuggets is it's just making me hungry now. But, yeah, Apoth apparently cratered, I guess. There goes the cap, though, and 007 is bringing in Bumpo right now. Doing a bunch of good damage there, but they haven't taken down that medic yet. Yes, they have. There they go. And that is probably going to be a round right there. A bunch of good damage coming in, actually, from the OSU team. They might be able to hold this off for now, but Bumpo is doing some pretty good damage himself before he finally got taken down there. It's it's three against two, now three against one. Uh, can I'm a wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Hold off this point by himself. Actually, that looked like it should have killed the scout, but it's too late. Oh, no. And that's going to be a good round in favor of the magical frolicking unicorns for the SIBO Vanilla Challenge. Giger? G-G-R? G-Jer? I have no idea what he was trying to say there. 
somebody is going to be like, no, Salamancer, it's so obvious. Because it always it's always obvious in retrospect after you've watched the, uh, the thing. But I have a game to talk about, so I don't have time to think about that. What I have time to think about is how these guys are getting out to mid. And it looks like uh, the scouts for OSU are significantly faster than the scouts for Magic Frolic Unicorns, which doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, but that is what's happening right now. King of Nipples needs a little bit of a buff here. Come on, buff the nipples. There you go. And now he's going to be able to jump right back in on the flank. Look for a couple of kills if he can find them. So far, he looks like the rest of his team has already gotten the kills, but he will try and go for a flank now. And he's going to get it. Oh, actually, maybe he got spotted there, but he might have actually fired too early. Because if that soldier didn't see him, then he could have just snuck straight up behind the medic and uh, gone for some sick meat shots. But he did not. And as a result, wow, he, uh, actually they're taking down the entire MFU team, so it looks like they'll be okay. Bumpo's going to try and delay this point for as long as possible, but it may not matter too much as there's going to be a huge uber advantage for OSU. And not a lot of players even spawning right now for MFU. So the Unicorns are going to have their work cut out for them here. They need to hold on to this point somehow, and Bumpo gets a buff, so he will be able to lay down some sticks on the point, holding it down for just a little bit longer. Uh, oh, Terabyte actually probably should have dropped away from that. Once they saw all the spawns coming in, they really should have decided against pushing in, because MFU now has a big uber advantage of their own, and should be able to push out on that uh, soonish. They got a couple of good picks. They just have to watch out for sticky traps right now, and uh, OSU is actually getting pressured in there is Miss G on the Heavy there. Sorry, I keep clicking through players, but Miss G on the Heavy, which is a useful class to use on these last points. And there is a Pyro out as well. Captain Mop. I've seen this guy play Pyro, I think, on Highlander before. Play Scout, they said. <laughs> well, they did say that, and ooh. I thought he was going to take a hit from that rocket. Looks like he should have, but uh, he manages to get away scot-free. Now uh, OSU actually going to have to deal with a Critzkrieg, which, that's an interesting choice there. A defensive Critzkrieg coming in. Um... I say defensive, of course they used it offensively, but uh, it would have been a defensive Chris Krieg if their opponents had pushed him with an Uber. So I'm, I'm kind of confused about that decision, but it seems to have worked so far. OSU, though, holding on, and they want to try pushing in again. They've almost got an Uber. They've got somebody sitting on the point, but Bumpo still has those stickies down there. There you go, though. King of Nipples takes him down, and now they've got to take down Miss G. They've got an Uber. They should be able to do it, but there's two players down right now, so it's going to be kind of scary. And are they going to lose their... Demo Man? Yes, they are. Here comes the Uber just now. Too late to save the Demo. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's cute. There you go. They do take down Miss G. And the Kong is in a little bit of trouble over here on his own. Oh, look at that Uber saw from 007. Using the regular Medigun now, so they will be able to push forward. And yes, remember this is the vanilla challenge, but the Medic can swap out to Quitzkrieg if he wants to, because uh, he's a Medic. And it adds just a little bit in a, to the game. That's all I have to say about that. It's kind of how the Europeans play it, and that's pretty much what 007 said that he wanted before he started this up. He was like, yeah, I kind of want to, you know, see if we can't match the European style over here in SIVO. So that's what they're doing. Of course, they do have the regular SIVO season as well. This is not from that. This is from their special, uh, special event. It's called a special event, even though it's like eight feet long. So 007 has an Uber, and gets a little bit of pressure put in on him by that scout there, but actually doesn't die to it at all. Meanwhile, I don't know how Apoth died there. I don't even know where he died. He's probably actually a little bit farther forward than we saw. I thought he died like right next to the medic as he was being healed, but that is not correct. OSU gonna fire a couple sticks. I'm sorry, a couple of pills through the upper route. And now Cheesy McNuggets just keeps peeking out there just to see if he can't get a good beat on where his opponents are. There you go. They are pushing in now. Eee, Miss Fail is down. Miss G is down as well. Ms. G, I guess you're supposed to say if it's MS like that, right? I don't know. But, oh wow, OSU losing a couple players here, including uh, the Demo Man who apparently killed himself with his own pill. Miss G comes out with a snipe as well on the medic, and that's going to be pretty huge. Uh, Terabyte could have had a little bit of an uber advantage there, but not anymore. 007 is now going to bring his. Uh, is this his pocket once again? I do believe it is not, actually. It's Apoth, the roamer, but Apoth can, of course, rotate onto that. And there you go, now the pocket's here, ready to push forward. I think MFU may be able to get this point back, keep themselves uh, looking pretty, because right now they do have one point on their opponents, uh, the Oregon SWAT units. 
And so if they can get out to the middle point, they should be feeling pretty good about their chances of winning this game. How many... Oops, that is uh, <laughs> not what we wanted to do. There's 15 minutes left to go, as you can see down there on the server map time left. And the MFU guys are right now trying to make a... Not even a yard hold yet. They're holding inside their buildings, inside their base here. Which I think maybe they've got yeah scouts over on the right side of yard. They just don't seem to own the left side of yard. Here comes Apoth. No, that was Miss Fail. I'm sorry. I keep assuming that these roamers are going to do what the roamers usually do. But no, that was the pocket. And uh, losing a soldier like that with no gain whatsoever, not a very good thing to happen. Now, they have killed both of OSU's scouts, so actually, if they want to try and push the flank, this is the time to do it, because there will be practically nobody watching the flank. They do push in and force the Uber out of terabytes, but they, yeah, it looks like double is going to get away. What was he going for there? No idea. No idea. Maybe he thought there was a scout behind him that he could mine for Uber, but it's not going to happen. Terabyte goes down again, though. This guy is just feeling the pressure like crazy, and Miss Vale's going to walk out with the shotgun, try to finish off the comm, and the comm does go down. So, it does look as if we have a pretty good game on our hands here, with MFU having a good chance to come out on top this round as well. They just need to get a push put together, getting actually wrapped around by two scouts and a soldier this time. But those guys are not going to go for a back cap at the moment. They are going to try and back away, maybe uh, defend mid a little bit with their newly respawned and freshly pressed medic. And I'm a wolf, 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 just needs to start laying down some sticky traps. That is a little bit high for a sticky trap. Um, I've seen some almost that high still be effective, like on snake water, but that's pretty high. I don't know if that's really going to do a heck of a lot. Anyway, uh, sounds like there is an Uber going on right now. 007 has popped something. Yes, they are in right now. And Soldier tries to bomb in just to force a, a multi-Uber flash, but Dr. Sensation is taken down there. Oh no, sorry, not Dr. DDR Sensation. That makes more sense. I don't know, you could have a Dr. Sensation. Like, like he's he's like the, the ultimate um, bone doctor or something. And he's like, I am a truly amazing bone surgeon. Watch as I... Whatever. He's Dr. Sensation now, okay? That's just who he is. And now OSU is really doing the right thing here. They are taking full advantage of the player kills that they got and pushing right in. So they tie it up. 1-1. One one. The Oregon SWAT unit looking a little bit more like a unit this time around. Okay, so it's pretty much just Cheesy McNugget being a Cheesy McNugget when he said G -g 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 last round. Uh, somebody used to put that into like a Microsoft Sam or one of those uh, what was that Moonbase Alpha kind of games and see what comes out. Please do. I would love to know. It's like uh, Miss was that Miss Vale? Yes, is actually lagging a bit. It's not. Uh, do not adjust your TV sets, guys. That is Miss Fail on the STV lagging. Mr. Bumpo, meanwhile, doing a pretty good job here, just standing on top of the terrain, getting a lot of good damage done. But Miss Vale is the first to fall at the mid fight, and now some big aggressive positioning coming in by our red team. Uh, they may actually, I don't know, a lot of them don't really have the health to try and jump in anymore, but if both soldiers try to jump at the same time, they actually could have gotten a couple of good kills. And there you go, there is a crits right now! Uh, Mr. Bumpo gonna try and launch... Oh! Oh, that Uber was just barely popped in time to stop the crit pill from, if not outright killing the comm, at least bringing him down to like 10 health. So there you go, OSU wins another mid-fight. And... Ooh, Miss G barely dodging a rocket here. So, the Magical Frolic and Unicorns are now back on their second point. And Captain Mop playing the Spy. It's going to be an interesting choice, especially because uh, he has to run Vanilla Spy. Do remember, I've, I've said the word Vanilla Challenge like a billion times in this video, but I'm just reminding you, this is the CEO of Vanilla Challenge. And so Captain Mop is going to have to use that regular invisibility watch, which does not always give you the perfectly opportune time to decloak just gotta say. Um, he does spot his own scout here, and now doesn't really know what to do. That's not good. Well, he, he does see a soldier over there, but that's not really the kill he wants. He wants to go for the medic, if at all possible. That is the uh, the high-value kill that you can get. But right now, uh, there is fighting going on already, and the medic is down, so at this point, Mop kind of lost his opportunity there, and that's maybe uh, partly the fault of the watch. Could partly be that they don't know the map all that well, and, and I wouldn't blame them because this is not a usual map that is used. Um, Captain Mop, actually, just by virtue of standing here. Oh, no, never mind. I don't think they can. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This guy is super stylish. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was told that I get 
rambly a little bit, but no, Captain Mop is going to have just a bit of trouble getting behind now the enemy team, especially if they know he's there, but I don't think they do. And so, yep, there you go. He has spotted the medic. And all he has to do now is uh, find a way to not be... Okay, yeah, they know. <laughs> Sorry, Mop, that didn't work very well. And middle point is getting capped, so Mop is pretty much being useless right now. That is not a good thing. Uh, I think OSU realized that, oh, there's a scout, or a spy, I mean, which means they're going to be down as scouts. And they are pressing the flank hard. King of Nipples, once again, coming in on the uh, on the flank. And this time around, he was not spotted very well until way too late. So that's one thing about follower that's tough to do is watching those flanks. And if you're not watching them, that kind of thing happens. Uh, they lucked out that the King of Nipples was not the King of Meat Shots and didn't manage to get the right shots off on 007. Otherwise, they would have lost their medic. But already, the Uber is ready to go for Terabyte. Uh, here comes a crits, but they haven't spotted the medic yet. They do manage to kill I'm a wolf, woof, woof, woof. But nothing else. And actually, a nice little wraparound here by the Oregon SWAT units. They've even got their medic back here. They haven't popped an Uber yet. This is going to be a cap on last. Pretty guaranteed. And Captain Mop... Yeah, it's not going to work. So, the Spy, it can be an okay choice, but now you maybe you're starting to see why Spy isn't always a useful thing in 6v6. There's only six players, and so, you know, if you try to disguise as a slow-moving soldier or demo man, then you'll be moving the right speed, but you won't be spamming anywhere, and everyone's going to be like, oh, well, you're obviously not the right person. If you try to disguise as a scout, you're not moving fast enough, so if anybody actually takes a second to look at your disguise, you are immediately given away. And if you disguise as a medic, I mean, everybody's just going to know. <laughs> so disguises are out. They're pretty much out. So you have to rely on a cloak. And in vanilla, you only get the regular invisibility watch, which really limits your uh, your options as far as where and when you can decloak and recloak and all that. Uh, so uh, it's not especially useful most of the time. It can be useful on last points, but uh, you can see that it is not especially useful most of the time. And there you go, the King of Nipples takes down Mr. Bumpo. With Miss G actually hanging out over on the side and looking like he maybe, I'm sorry, she maybe wanted to hide out a little bit. But no, he's going for a back cap now. Interesting. Because OSU oh, should be able to just send maybe one or two people back for this. And that is what they're doing. The demo man comes in and a scout as well. Miss G is in for the ride of her life. And uh, there you go. That's going to be a ride all the way to the gates of hell. So OSU now in control of the middle point pretty firmly with how many minutes left to go? 720. So very possible for the frolicking unicorns, who are also magical, to come back and win this game. But not if they keep losing players. And they just did that. Captain Mop setting up a sentry now, going engineer. So he is really committed to off-classing this game. So is Miss G, apparently. But I, I don't know if these are the right choices. It could just be that these guys are kind of frustrated that they are not main scouts and they play a lot of Highlanders. So they're just like, yeah, well, let's play our Highlander classes and see if that works. I got to say, though, if you are missing scouts, that is not a good thing. Now, in, in this particular situation, there are three entrances to their base. There's one here, one here, and one up here. And they are watching all three. Plus, it's, it's a relatively narrow room. So Pyro can be an OK choice problem is that they can't push out with a pyro. And there you go, the uber is popped. Pyro, not able to do a heck of a lot about that. Uh, meanwhile, though, I'm a wolf, can see now, and so does Terabyte, actually, so MFU, I think, has successfully defended. Now, the tough part is going to be how do they push out and attack, and they're going to do that with their combo here, and a demo, and another soldier, actually. They're all pushing at the same time with their heavy classes. But Captain Mop is going to be useless for this push because he's an engineer. And Miss G, similarly, uh, not going to be able to watch the flanks very well, so this is going to be a problem as they continue to try to push through these levels uh, for the Magical Frolic Unicorns. The scouts can just have a heyday on their flanks. It's not going to be good for them. Where is Mop right now is the question. Miss G just coming up to the middle point here, and Mop probably, oh, so desperately far behind all the action. That is not going to work at all. Just gotta say. As soon as he sets that sentry up, somebody's gonna see it, spam it, and it's gonna die, and he is just going to cry engineer tears, but, uh, nobody else cares about you, engineer, because guess what? Not only do you not get weapons ever for any updates, but, uh, also, you're too slow. That's just how it is. And look at that. Already there is a soldier behind the blue team. Nobody able to stop these flanks, because they don't have a scout up, so there he goes. Actually, don't know what he's doing back there. And King of Nipples is taken down once again in here. He seems to not really have too many bright ideas about where to go as a scout. 
I gotta say, don't walk over stickies is probably uh, pretty standard advice. <laughs> but the Ubers are both popped now. OSU still has some room to play on the flanks. They've got to watch here on the main push front, but uh, so far, actually this is going really well for our red team. Um, Miss failed, trying to go for the medic and does take him out. So at the very least, they're not going to have a severe Uber disadvantage, but they are going to have a player disadvantage, and OSU pretty much running roughshod over them. They are calling GG already. Yeah, there's four and a half minutes left to go here. But OSU is going to be able to sit on the second point. Uh, and if they cap that, it's almost over. I mean, I, I don't know. I would hate for them to give up now because, honestly, they could still win this. But they're not running any scouts, which means that they're not going to have the speed they need to go do domino captures like you would really need to make. So... Uh, Captain Mop just busy setting up for a defensive play, and when you're down in the points, you can't do that. Well, I mean, you, you can, but then you just lose, because if you're defending, you're not attacking, and you need to attack to win a game. So OSU, uh, pretty happy about the situation right now. They may try to push in, and I mean, I guess the decision on MFU is just to try and wait for them to push, and then take advantage of the ensuing chaos once they realize there's still an engineer, but it's, I mean, it's too late. You know, all, all OSU really has to do is just play defensively, and they win! It's called parking the bus, and they could very easily park the bus right now. They actually do not want to park it on top of sticky bombs, though. Just an FYI, if you were a school bus driver and you see sticky bombs where you are normally supposed to park your bus, think of the children. Try not to do that, okay? It's, uh, Probably not very good for their health and safety, and, uh, you know, parents can get pretty angry sometimes when their kids are gibbed. That's, uh, that's just how it is. So, uh, not a bad little push here by, oh, <laughs> Mr. Bumpo, nice air shot there on the opposing demo. But, yeah, it's going to be too late now. Uh, they did pretty much wipe out, and these two scouts plus the soldier. I mean, look at this. This is what you have to do when you're pushing. You need scouts to get in there very quickly, and this sentry actually doing a heck of a lot of damage before it went down, but it, does it even matter? Not a heck of a lot. So yeah, the scouts went down, and actually, uh, who is this? This is Miss Fail? This is Apoth. I am so stupid. Apoth doing a pretty good job of defending here, along with Miss G. It's just that defense isn't what they need. They need offense, and they don't have it. So, that's a problem. Miss G hanging out here, and uh, hoping somebody walks into her scope, which just isn't going to work. It is pretty much too late for them to win now. Two minutes left. They could still push it, but they don't have scouts, and that is my Windows key. Oops. There we go. Oh, yeah, getting pressured in now. That's the problem. You don't have scouts. You don't have anybody to watch those flanks and properly defend against the scouts who come flying at you. Um, now, it's not that I don't like off-classing, because I really do, but in this situation, they need the scouts, and they do not have them. So OSU once again pushing in. They've got somebody, actually, Apoth, going for the back cap, so... A minute and 50 seconds left. If they could just get a scout, <laughs> uh, then they might be able to get a back cap. But it is too late now. Those, look at those scouts just wrecking Apoth. And King of Nipples. I mean, I gotta say, you know, he's definitely the king of something right now. Nipples, I mean, you know, if that were a kingdom that existed, I guess that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, this is the final last gasp we were pretty much for the blue team. They are going to bring their players forward, try to get a little bit of a push through this hallway and get on the middle point. But it's too late now. There's a backup going on once again. 007 going to be healing up the soldier as they push here. The backup was stopped. It's like Mr. Bumpo. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, Mr. Bumpo was there on the point. So uh, it's going to be OSU probably capping for a 3-1 to victory. Oh, no, maybe not. There is, in fact, a sentry and a heavy. So, at the very least, I mean, this is, this is of course, if you're doing a normal defensive setup, this is how you defend a last point, like follower. You get that heavy out there, you get the sentry, and then there you go. You have your combo, push out forward, and take the point once your enemy is wiped out. But, um, this is not a situation for a normal defense. I keep saying it. Whatever. Anyway, it's not going to work. 36 seconds left. It is now mathematically impossible for the Magical Falling Unicorns to win. They are going to try and get a couple more kills. But it's pretty much too late. And that is going to be all she wrote for MFU. The Oregon SWAT unit played a superior game. And looks like maybe their, their classes were just a little bit more comfortable on their mains. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, seeing seeing consistent off-classing off from the scouts of MFU 
didn't work all that well for them. So they do probably need to get their get their MGE going with uh, with those scouts and get them practiced a little bit more. But they do look like a good team, and I would like to see them continue on. Just like I would like to see all these teams continue on. So, and I want to see you continue watching my channel as well and getting interested in 6v6, 9v9, whatever it takes because competitive TF2 is just off like a rocket right now. Do stay tuned and subscribe to youtube.com slash